so here we go, Bridgewater and Taunton Canal, right next to the M5. And you can see just how weedy the canal is. Once the group have arrived, we reinforce their learning about safety and rules before setting the aims of the session in relation to the environmental conditions and their personal goals. For some children, it might be plumbing the depth or landing a fish, but it's often the life skills that we are helping them to develop. Patience, concentration, determination, self-confidence, to name a few. The pupils benefit enormously from these sessions. That's not just my opinion, it's what I'm told repeatedly by various teaching professionals, health professionals and the parents of those that we're teaching. Well, we're going to let the fish in the tub go because they don't like the bright sunlight. Mammy, it's a rud. Everyone agree it's a rud? Yes. You're absolutely right. Well yes. done. Yes, we got it right. Let's see if we can catch a different species then now, shall we? Oh. Careful. Careful, Kate. Blow your heart. He wiggled. He wiggled out of my hand. I've probably got more kit for COVID than I have for catching fish with me today. But it, um, it means that the sessions can go ahead, which is great. You know, these young people, they need to get out. I've got safety glasses and we've got visors, but it's, a, it's not the same. I want them to be able to see the fish. I don't just want to be provided them with safety glasses. I want them to have polarised glasses so that they can enjoy looking into that clear water and seeing that whole different world down there. So if anyone out there can help us get some polarised glasses, um, that would really help. Uh, we actually need 10 pairs and 30 quid a pop. I just can't afford it. You can see, hopefully see for yourself the benefits that these sessions bring to the pupils. Thank you so much for watching. I realise it's not the most exciting fishing vid, but it's slightly different.